everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm just going to do a simple dirty pour on it today. So let's go over my paints. First one is Am Amsterdam grayish blue. My second paint is Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. My third paint is Amsterdam Pearl Violet. I just purchased a bunch of the pearl line of the Amsterdam. Just love them. My next color is a combination of the Amsterdam Oxide Black and Liquitex Basics Silver. Just a combination, 50-50 of that. My next paint is a combination of Amsterdam Deep Gold and the Liquitex Soft Body Muted Pink. And I do want to show you that color that turned out so interesting. It doesn't really even look pink anymore. Not really. It looks more like a light brownish coral. And you can just see the the gold shimmer in there and I will show you consistency right away. I left it a little bit on the thicker side here today. Leaves a trace but it takes a little while to disappear there. Okay my next color is a combination of three paints. Golden Iridescent Gold Fine and then ma ma excuse me, Master's Touch Viridian and Pebio Dyna. Those three colors together turned out really pretty. My base coat today is a combination of the Blick White and Liquitex Basics Unbleached Titanium. It's going to be like an off-white color. And my last color, I will show it. It's so pretty. This is the one that I had used in a couple videos ago. I called it the uh, Mysterious that Art Minds used to make. And this is a combination of three paints. Yeah, uh, Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. And let's see what else it's a combination of. Folk Art Color Shift Black Flash and Pebio Dyna. That, uh, and also golden fluid acrylic turquoise so I guess it's four paints that I used to make that combination for that paint and it just really turned out pretty and my pouring medium today is uh I'm using the mix seven part mix to one part water or excuse me one part paint and then I did um thin it a little bit like maybe uh two squirts of water in each paint so what I'm going to do is uh, turn the camera off. I'm going to put my base coat down. I'm just going to fill one cup with all my paints. And then I'm just going to slowly uh, dirty cup. Just pour it down the middle here. Do some tipping and see what we get. I'm excited to do it because I think the mix is just beautiful. And shows so many layers of the colors that um, I think you're going to enjoy the results. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, everybody I'm back I have my base coat down of my off-white I have my cup filled and I did not um, when I filled the cup I did not pour the paint down the side I just went from the middle and I did two layers of each color and I was going to tell you I did not use silicone at all in my paints today and um, if you're interested in all the combination of paints that I did use and how I mixed them they will be in the description, so check the description box out. So let's get uh, to layering the paint or putting the paint down. And I, like I said, I'm just going to do a, a dirty cup and put the paint right down the middle here. Because I do want to see how the mix works and blends with all the colors 
that dioxazine purple is very, very pretty there. And I think I will just go right back up the middle here. Reminds me of ribbon candy here. And then I will go back down again. And I'll just keep doing that till my paint is all used up. Just making a little design here. Okay, I think that's good. And also I did leave out a little bit of my purple paint. And I think I'm just going to lay some stripes down here. Just to give that paint an added dimension. And I also saved out some of that really pretty mysterious color that I made up. I'll lay a little bit of that down too. Just figure why not? Let's play a little bit here and see what we get. Okay, and now I'm going to just give it a quick torch before I start tipping. And I am going to add some of my base coat around the edges to help the paint move. Okay, that's looking pretty good. OK, 
Okay, so let's start tipping. And if you do get out of camera, I do apologize for that. I will try and let you see as much as I can here. I'm going to go over this edge here and bring it back. And now I will bring work on bringing this down. If I do have negative space today, that's fine too. And I will work on this corner. And bring it back. I'm already seeing a lot, a lot of layers, especially with that dioxazine purple. It's very pretty. And now I will work on this far corner here. And bring that back. And we'll work on that last corner. Being mindful of what's going on on the rest of the painting so I don't want to run anything off that I really like. I'm going to bring it down here a little bit again. Just going to take a look at it. See what's going on here before I finish that. Work on my corners here. Oh, oh geez. Oh, oh that really did it. Oh no. I'm gonna tip down this way. See if I can. Over that mistake. Just shows you you have to work with what what happens. And hopefully I'll have enough paint here to, to cover that back up. What I think I'll do is, I will put some of my base coat down. See if that helps it along. because that is thinner there. Okay, and I am going to put more paint here to see if that can help that go to the edge also. Okay, let's see if we can save this painting. Oh, 
I do want to try and save this purple here. So I'm actually tipping it this way now. Tipping it back. Okay, see if I can run that off. Okay, can leave a little bit there. And I'm going to run it back now. Okay. And now I will work on this corner. And that was really good for you to see because things like that do happen when you're pouring. And rather than give up, you have to work with what you have, which I'm doing. So let's see what we can get down here now. If I can tip. Like I said, if I do have some negative space, that's fine. Let's just see what we can get here. One thing too with the mix that I've found, the further you stretch it out, the more layers you do see. So let's just see what happens here. See how far down I can get that. The paint is moving. I'll just keep working at it here. Move it a little more here. And I don't mind leaving that negative space at all. I think that will really look nice. Get it over the corner there. Okay. I'm bring it this way. wipe my hands off here quick and just take a look at it I seem to see something in my paint here yes I don't know what that is okay get that out of there and I'm just going to cover this corner I'm going to take my base coat here, just cover this corner up here really well. Okay. And then I may tip back down just a little bit, stretch it out a little more. Oh, I just love this up in here. This is beautiful. And I may just do a little bit more tipping this way. Okay. 
another look at it. I'm going to try and tip this corner here a little bit more. If I can get some paint to run off that. If not, I may just put my base coat on that corner also. Or see if I can match it a little better here with some of the runoff paint. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to give it a torch. Clean my sides off here a little bit, though. Check my corners. Okay, let's give it a torch and then I will get you down for a close-up because this is just, just turned out so beautiful. And when I look at this painting, I'll remember what happened in there. Be careful with your paper towels. That's one lesson I just learned. Some beautiful, beautiful areas of this painting. And I see something else in here again. Okay, cover that up. Okay. That is. There we go. I got it. A little touch up there too. I'm sorry you're out of camera right here, but I'm trying to get that to tip off. A little bit. All right. Okay, let's get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close up. This is the top left corner. And just, I think this is the whole star of the painting here, is just this dioxazine purple and how it worked with all these other paints. Just beautiful. Going down the left-hand side. This is the area where I dumped the paper towel on and had to fix it, but it turned out just beautiful. That taught me a lesson, be in control of your paper towels. And uh, when accidents happen, just pick yourself up and keep on going. This is the lower, the lower left-hand corner. Again, very beautiful, a lot of shine going on here. Not sure if the camera's picking that up. There you can see what the mix does, all those different layers of paint coming through. Very, very nice. Really pretty in here. You can really see that layered look in here. Some of the gold coming through here. Very pretty. And it's the crisp purple lines in here. Up in here is really a pretty area too. And I am glad that I 
I left this negative space. I could have probably tipped and tipped and turned this painting to cover that, but I'm, I'm glad I left it. I think that, that really looks nice up in that right-hand corner. This is really pretty in here. Just looks like clouds. Coming down the right hand side here. Very pretty in here. And in here again, you get some crisp lines. Very, this is where the lines are the most, the, the most pretty is right in this area, the lower right hand corner, right there. Really pretty. Okay, so let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. That re would really help my channel. And, and until next time, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.